<laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. I am not looking forward to another bad picture day. Each year my picture gets worse. Relax, no one really cares about picture day. It's just a scam so our parents can spend a bunch of money on photos that end up in the back of their wallet. I know, but they go in the yearbook and yearbooks people always keep. It'd be nice to at least have one year with a good picture in it. I don't think it's that serious. Besides, you look great. I love your bunny sweater. Thanks. My sister helped me pick it out. Ah. <laughs> you know who always has a good yearbook photo? Madison Butler. Yeah, she looks nice, but it's a little much just for a middle school photo. Not at all. She is so photogenic. You know what? I'm gonna go ask her for some tips. I'm sure she can teach me how to take a good photo. Uh, I really don't think that's necessary, Phoebe. Look at this. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Madison. Are you kidding me? You just ruined my picture day outfit. I really am sorry. It was an accident. You better pray this comes off. What were you thinking? I was coming over to, um, Ask for some advice. About what? Um, you always take great photos. I was wondering if you had any tips on how I could, um, you know, uh, look better? No amount of advice could fix all of that. You're a dork. And you can't even help that. You don't need tips, you need a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really gonna wear that bunny sweater, are you? And are you seriously keeping your hair like that? Let's not forget her nerdy glasses. If she had straight hair, she'd look like Edna from The Incredibles. <laughs> Maybe Meg from Family Guy. <laughs> what are you gonna do about your outfit? I'll have to figure something out. I swear, I wish it was illegal for losers to talk to normal people. Hey, you okay? Don't listen to them, all right? They might be pretty on the outside, but they're ugly on the inside. Yeah, and I'm just ugly on the outside. Phoebe, don't say that. You didn't need to take your sweater off, it was cute. Madison and her friends didn't think so. Too bad I don't have enough time to fix my hair and change my whole look. All right, everyone. We're gonna get started here real soon. So each of you will go in the cafeteria one at a time to take your photo. No doubling up as besties. One student per photo, understood? No silly faces either. We're paying by the hour, so we need to wrap this up as soon as possible. I just gotta go to my van and get my lenses. Okay, then. So while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and make sure everyone's wearing appropriate attire. This is middle school, not the Met Gala. Excuse me, Principal Danvers. I'm not feeling too well. Can I take my photo another day? Sorry, Phoebe, we only booked a photographer for one day. Now, if I have them come back, it's gonna be very expensive and I do not wanna deal with that budget nightmare. You'll live. Lovely, dear. Will you stop stressing? You look amazing. Yeah, right. There has to be a way out of... Hmm. I'll be right back. Where are you going? What is this? Darman? Do those come in adult sizes? You could check it on the website. Right. No camera, no camera, no photos. So you good? You got those lenses you mm -hmm. told me? Okay. Yep. I got everything packed. Okay, so roughly how long do you think it's gonna take? Um, about 200 kids. We should be here all day. Oh, man. Can you try to make it fast? I don't want to have to pay for overtime. As long as kids don't do anything to delay the shoot, we should be fine, but I can't control anyone else. Well, trust me, if they cause any delays, they're gonna be in big trouble. Yeah, I hear that. Hmm. That's weird. My batteries are missing. 
What do you mean? I mean, I'll put him... You know what? It's no problem. Have someone to call. Fine, I'll walk with you. All right. Phoebe? What are you doing in here? You know, are those my batteries? Uh, yeah. I was, um... Explain yourself, young lady. I left my drink in here, so I came to get it and somehow found the batteries on the floor behind the backdrop. So you came for your drink and ended up finding the batteries behind the backdrop? Uh-huh. It's a good thing I found them. Sounds like you needed them. Yes, we do. Well, it looks like we have everything. Uh, you want me to start with her? No, I need a- Great idea. All right, Phoebe, you go first. I'll let the other students know they can come in. All right. Uh... Wait, 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 hold on. My memory cards are gone. Do you have extras in your car? No, I, I keep them right here. I... Have you seen my memory cards? I have my initials on them. No. I must have left him on my case at home. I was in such a rush this morning that... So what happens now? Can you rush home to get him? No, I live in Orange County. It'll be two or three hours before I get there. You know what? Maybe we can reschedule for tomorrow. Are you serious? Absolutely not! Oh, okay, well, since it's my fault, I'll give you a 10% a discount. That'll work. I'll let everyone know. Phoebe, let's go. Okay, which eye shadow palette should I use? <laughs> I don't know. Why aren't we asking your sister to help you? I don't want her to know I'm using her stuff. She a freak. I can hear her now. You're too young for makeup. You look fine just the way you are. She doesn't get it. Madison and her girls are right. I really need a makeover. I'm just lucky picture day got delayed. Phoebe, have you seen my makeup? Phoebe. What are you hiding? Uh, nothing. What are you talking about? What's this? Uh, I needed it for a science project. Right. It doesn't have anything to do with picture day? No, not at all. <laughs> Picture day was rescheduled and Phoebe wanted to wear makeup so she could look prettier. Camila! Sorry, I can't lie to your sister. Phoebe, since when are you into makeup? When I realize I'm just an ugly dork. Hey, you are not. Don't be so mean to yourself. Other people say those things about me. Why can't I? Other people are blind. You are not ugly. You are so, so beautiful. That's what I've been trying to tell her. You guys can say it all you want. It doesn't change anything. I hate my curly hair. I hate how my skin looks. I have no style. I don't look beautiful at all. Phoebe, beauty is about loving yourself and not caring about what anybody else thinks. Just be yourself. That's all that matters. Easy for you to say, you're absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen my middle school yearbook? I'll be right back. Is there a point to this? Yes, just wait right here. <laughs> Look. You may not have noticed, but I was a huge goober. That was you? Wow, I've only known you to be beautiful. Hey, you act like I was hideous. I was just young. So you're saying it's okay that I'm ugly because of my age? No. The point is, I was devastated when I got these photos back. I was young and I was insecure. But now I look back and I smile at these photos. And I actually think that I look really cute because I've learned to love myself. I totally agree. I've accepted who I am, so 
I don't care what others think of me. Exactly. You should do the same, Phoebe. I don't know. Look, I know that being young is hard, but I'm always here if you need anything. Thanks, Elena. Bye. Your sister's the best. I wish I had an older sister. Okay. I hope you feel better. I'll see you in school tomorrow. If I even show up. Stop, you're coming to school. And please wear your bunny sweater, it looks so cute. See ya. OMG, you look amazing. I figured since I got a second chance, I might as well step up my game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing the photographer lost his memory card since your stain didn't come out. Right? <laughs> You're not the best photo in the yearbook. Hands down. <laughs> oh. My. Gosh. Camila, is that you? Yes. So, what do you think? Um, well, you definitely have everyone's attention. That's good, right? I mean, I can't believe your sister let you leave the house like that. I didn't let her walk me to school this morning. I left the house before she could see me. Camila, you're worrying me. Do I not look good? Uh, have you seen yourself in a mirror? Of course I've looked in the mirror. I thought I looked great. I changed everything up. Yeah. Uh, and okay, and did you look at yourself with or without glasses? Without? Why, is it bad? Did you do your whole look without your glasses too? That might have been a bad idea. Uh, you should probably put them back on. <laughs> wow. Just when I thought you couldn't look any more embarrassing, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you got smacked in the face with an eyeshadow palette and dragged to the mud. Hey, don't talk to her that way. Why not? It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they were right. Phoebes, wait. Okay, the photographer just got here and we'll be starting in 10 minutes. So everyone, and I mean everyone, please be ready. Please answer. Come on. Hey. Whoa, Fish, how am I gonna recognize you? What'd you do to your face? I used some of your products, even though you told me not to. Now I look crazy and I don't know what to do. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I thought it was an emergency because you never called me at school. It is an emergency. I totally regret doing this, Elena. Can you please help me? It's all right. Everything's gonna be okay, don't worry. No, it's not okay. Can you call the school or something and tell them I have an emergency so I can leave early? No, you don't need to leave early. You're in the bathroom, right? Okay, go to the sink and wash your face. And then wash your hair, okay? Okay, let me try. See, there's your pretty face. I guess I didn't realize how much I like my face until I messed it all up. You're perfect. You always have been. And you don't need to change anything. Okay, I gotta go to class. You good, beautiful? Yeah, I wish I just had something else to wear. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Perfect. Thank you so much, Selena. Love you. Bye. And thank you so much for being a good friend. Always. Now, let's get this off. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. I already told you, we don't have time for that. All right. Next. Oh.
All righty. Let me see that big smile. Of course. Next. Wait, can I take a few more for safety? We only have time for one. Okay. When will I be able to see it? We'll send everyone a link today. Okay. Uh-uh. Next. You know something? I really like my photo this year. Aw, that makes me really happy to hear. So what changed? I don't know. I guess I realize it doesn't matter what other people think of you. It just matters what you think of yourself. And I think I look pretty good. That's what I'm talking about, those Beyonce vibes. Tanya, it's been my teeth this whole time. Why didn't you two say anything? We didn't realize it until now. We're so sorry. I swear, if you guys did this on purpose just because you were jealous. No, we would never do that. I'm going to look so ugly in a yearbook. Your locker. Don't follow me. Hey, Madison, don't feel bad. I've learned that beauty is about loving yourself, not be quiet, Phoebe. Not close to a girl who looks like you. Madison, we have to retake another student's photo because their eyes were closed. So if you're really not happy with yours, we can squeeze you in too. Really? Oh my gosh, yes, thank you. Too much, too much, too much. And we have to move fast, though. There's not a lot of time for primping and preening. Wait. Are those my memory card? They're mine. I also do photography. Then why do they have my company's initials on them? Looks like I didn't lose them after all. Madison, how could you? It's her fault. She spilled her drink all over me. I wasn't going to take a photo like that. That's no excuse. You delayed us a whole day of school. Is this going to affect my discount? Uh, yeah. The discount's gone. If anything, I should be compensated for my inconvenience. I'm very sorry. I'll be in touch very soon. We will not be retaking her photo. You come with me, young lady. I'm calling your mom. You are in so much trouble. No, please, at least let me retake oh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> wow. Hopefully, she'll start being nice to the people once a yearbook picture comes out. Or know what it feels like when people make fun of her. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll teach her not to care so much about her looks. Or to stop bringing drinks to school. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly? Oh my God, look at you. Well, I barely recognize you. you. You lost so much weight over the summer. Thanks, Miss Hope. Did you notice anything else? You got braces. I even got a new Minecraft backpack. That is really cool. So tell me, Kimberly, what inspired you to make all of these changes? It's actually Kimmy now. I don't know. A lot of kids made fun of me last year, so I decided to change all these things about myself. Yes, one second. Um, I'm glad that you decided to make all of these changes, honey, but just be sure that you're doing them because they make you happy and not anyone else, okay? All right, everyone, take out your books. I'll be right back. Kimberly, you've lost a lot of weight. Thanks. It's actually Kimmy now, you know, since I'm no longer Kimber the Timber. <laughs> since I lost all the weight and all. You look good, but did you lose too much weight? Yeah. Are you sure you're not sick? <laughs> no. I worked out and dieted all summer. That way no one else will make fun of me anymore. Skinny Kimmy. That should be your new nickname. <laughs> I like that. Hey guys. Kimber the Timber's new name this year is Skinny Kimmy. <laughs> skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy. Is that a Minecraft backpack? Yeah, you like it? 
I know what you're thinking. Way cooler than my Lego backpack from last year, right? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, no one cares about Minecraft anymore. Yeah, that's so last year. People only care about Pokemon. Pokemon? I thought that stopped being cool like two years ago. <laughs> it's back. And way cooler than Minecraft. I can't believe you didn't know. Do you live under a rock or something? <laughs> Seriously, no one wears that anymore. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. Hey, uh, do you mind if I sit with you girls? Uh, sure. I guess. Thanks. Something looks different about you. Oh yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Uh, no, that's not it. It's something else. Uh... Oh, you got braces! Oh yeah. A lot of kids made fun of me last year because of my teeth, so I decided to get them. Do you like them? Yeah, if you want to look like a brace face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Or a, a metal mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> or zipper lips. <laughs> oh, a uh, tin grin. <laughs> <laughs> Train tracks. <laughs> Cheese grater. <laughs> Kimmy? Kimmy, what's wrong? Honey, please tell me what's wrong. Everyone's making fun of me and I just don't understand. They did the same thing to me last year. Sweetheart, you know you can talk to me, right? I just don't know what to change about myself anymore. You see? Last year, everyone at school made fun of me. They laughed at me for the kind of backpack I had or for how bad my teeth were or for how much I weighed. I remember going home and crying so hard after the last day of school. And that's when I decided I would change everything about myself that people didn't like. So I saved up my money all summer to buy myself a new backpack. I even convinced my mom to take me to the dentist so I could get braces. I even started eating healthier. So you see, I tried to change everything about myself. I even tried to change my name, but people still made fun of me. <laughs> oh, sweet child. You didn't need to change any of those things. You were perfect as you were, and you are perfect now. So then, why do people always criticize me? Sadly, that's just how some people are in the world. If you are overweight, they'll say that you eat too much. If you lose weight, they'll say you look sick. If you dress nice, they'll say you show off. And if you dress simple, they'll say you're poor. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, People will always find a reason to criticize you. Okay, so what do I do? Well, you do what makes you happy. Let me ask you a question. Do you like your backpack? Well, yeah. And do you like your braces? Yeah. <laughs> and do you like eating healthy? 
well then that is all that matters. You do what makes you happy for yourself and for no one else. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Thank you so much, Miss Hope. <laughs> Anytime, sweetheart. Look at Kimmy's backpack. I can't believe she's wearing Minecraft. I already told you, no one wears Minecraft. What a loser. <laughs> That's not true. I love Minecraft, and I think it's really cool. Plus, I hear no one wears Pokemon anymore. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's so last year. I told you no one wears Pokemon. No, you didn't. You said it was cool. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Yeah, I love how you stood up for yourself, Kimmy. Want to have lunch with us today? Sure, but call me Kimberly. I like my old name better. All right, class. What's everyone looking at? Um, Madison, I don't think you want to see this. Or you, Shelby. Shelby's boyfriend tried to flirt with Madison? It says he tried to slide in her DMs. I knew there was something off about the relationship. If I was Shelby, I'd be devastated. Shh. She's right there. I'm so sorry. I should have told you sooner. My best friend? Are you serious? No, no, no. Shelby, so this, this never happened, I swear. I always had the feeling you were into her. We're so done. Come on, babe, babe. Tell her you know I would never do something like that. It, babe! <sighs> this is insane. I can't believe someone would do all of this to Madison. I mean, she's literally the worst, but even she doesn't deserve all this. Whoever did it is going to get in huge trouble. Olivia? What? Do you know who did it? Emma, why do you have Madison's diary? I, I can explain. You see? Oh my god, I love that bag! So cute. <laughs> Thanks. My aunt got it for me. Um, she loves spoiling me and my sister because she does have kids of her own. Lucky, oh, my aunt has like four kids. <laughs> this is officially the coolest thing I own. I'm going to wear it every day, and I'm definitely going to bring it to our murder mystery club this week. Yes! <laughs> This is so freaking gorgeous. Thanks. It's the same one Rihanna has. I'm like dying. It'd go perfect with what I'm wearing tomorrow night with Jason. Uh, it's still so weird that you're dating my brother. I can't get used to it. You know, if you like weren't one of my closest friends, I'd break the two of you up. Please don't ever do that. You know how much I like him. <gasps> oh no, she didn't. <laughs> um, there's no way you're wearing the same bag as me. You better have a different one in your locker. Uh, no, this is my only bag. Then go find an old one from the lost and found and use that or something. Madison, what's the big deal? Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? I can't be seen wearing the same bag as Emma. Everyone's gonna think I got it at like TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> Sorry, but I love this bag and I'm using it every day. Hey, baby. <laughs> so I've <Hey>. said that. <laughs> Oh, hey, nice bag, Em. Thanks. Oh. Oh, cool. Madison has the same bag. I guess Emma's a trendsetter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something? Just when I thought she couldn't get more annoying, she comes to school with the same bag as me. Well, it's not like you can do anything about it. You just gotta accept it. Trust me, we all have to accept things that annoy us. Uh, 917? 46, two. Sorry, sweetie. Doesn't look like you have enough credits. My mom didn't give me any cash. She lost her wallet. Just use my ID. I have a ton of credits. Four, eight, two. Nine, two, six. All right, ladies, you're all set. <laughs> Thanks, boo. Thanks, boo. 
Why is she talking like that? Ugh, everything about her annoys me. I want to ruin her back. I wish there was a way that I could just, like, crush it or something. Oh, shoot, we forgot now, Ken's. I'll oh, grab some. Before. Where are you going? Madison, what are you doing over there? Oh, oh my gosh, Olivia. Are you okay? Yeah, my barf, but I'm fine. Watch where you're going. What are you talking about? You did this on purpose. No, she bumped into me. You guys saw that, right? She totally knocked the grease into me and then it fell on her. What on earth happened in here? I think it was an accident. Uh, the girls bumped into each other and uh, they knocked over the grease. That's not true. Madison did this on purpose. On purpose? Why would she? Did anyone see Madison do this? No. Madison's right. I tripped over the car and the grease fell on me. Oh boy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need us to call your parents? No, I'm fine. Can I just change into my PE clothes for the rest of the day? Of course. I'll go see if I can find you a new pair of gym sweats. Whose bag is that? It's mine. Why? I, I like it. Madison, you have the same one. You two are like twins. I'll see about those sweats. Why didn't he tell her the truth? Madison did this to you. Just let it go. I'll come back to her. It's not fair. We need to get her back. We can't let her get away with this. No. Please don't. You know the saying. Don't waste your time on revenge. Those who deserve it will always get it in the end. Uh, but she... Just leave it, okay? Karma will come around. What you got there? I think it's Madison's journal or a diary or something. I don't know. Oh, she, she must have dropped it. Um, I can give it to her. She lives on my block. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I got it. All right, then. So you see, that's how I found this. Trust me, I wanted to ruin Madison's life with this. Make her regret for messing with us. I was so torn, but, but then I realized I'm not that person. I'm not as mean as Madison. So I kept it in my backpack this whole time. So you didn't do it? No, I didn't even read it. Because I remembered what you said. It's not worth getting her back. I should just let Karma take care of it. Well, I'm... Um... So, if you didn't do it, then who did? I have no idea. Listen, Emma, no one can see you with this diary. It makes you look guilty. I know. So, when was looking, let me put it back. Emma Robinson! Uh, hey, Principal Jackson. This note was left in my office by an anonymous student. I didn't know what it meant until now. I don't know what... That's wrong, I... I don't have it. Well, someone must think that you do. I'm gonna need to check your locker. No, you can't do that. Yes, Emma, it's school policy. Someone used the copiers to harass Madison and I need to find out who did it. I will not tolerate bullying in my school. Wait, Principal Jackson. I swear I didn't do this. My office, right now. Hey, she didn't do it. Well, the proof says otherwise. To my office, go, and you too. 
I'm waiting for your mom to answer so she can come pick you up. You stay put. You got the wrong person. I really didn't do it. Hello? Yes, this is she. What's happening? Quick, Miss Peterson thinks I'm going to the bathroom. Well, she still thinks this Mises and Diary was in my locker. She's gonna suspend me for the rest of the week. What? That's not fair. You shouldn't even do it. She doesn't believe me. And once my mom finds out, I'm gonna be grounded for the rest of my life. Because she's totally gonna take the principal side. We can kiss our murder mystery and we can goodbye. No, that would suck so bad. That's like the only thing I look forward to every week. I don't know. But someone's clearly trying to pin this on me. Wait. I was the only person who saw you with the diary. Jason! We gotta confront him. And quick. Uh, wait. The principal says I have to stay put. What's the worst that could happen? You're already suspended. We gotta go. Uh, why are you taking that? You know how mysteries work. You never know what you're gonna need. Some stuff can turn out to be important. Can anyone tell me where the Declaration of Independence was signed? Yes. At the bottom by the X. Can I help you, Olivia? Uh, yeah, I need to talk to Jason for a second. It's about a school project. It'll be quick. Okay. <clears throat> Philadelphia. What's up? Are you trying to frame me? What? What are you talking about? Madison's diary. You're technically the one who gave it to me. Yeah, because I thought you were going to give it to her. If I knew you were going to make photocopies, I never would have given it to you. I didn't make the copies. Maybe it was you who made the copies. Then you passed the evidence on to Emma so she could take the fall. Relax, Detective Olivia. For your information, Shelby just broke up with me over Madison's diaries. Look, I love Shelby. I mean, why would I do that to myself? Shelby's right. He really doesn't have a motive. All I know is that someone ruined my relationship. Okay, Madison is not the only victim here. Don't act so innocent. You were still messaging your girlfriend's best friend behind her back. What? No, I wasn't, okay? She was messaging me, and that's the truth, not the other way around. Hmm, sure. Is there anyone who didn't want you and Shelby together? Not that I can think of. I mean, maybe my sister. You know, Kate never liked the idea of me and her best friend. But other than that, I don't... Jason! We're going over the Constitutional Convention? You don't want to miss this. Right, right, of course. Come on. Okay. We'll talk. Kate would have had easy access to Madison's diary. It was totally her. Oh my gosh, this is like more fun than our murder mystery games. <laughs> Maybe for you, since your future's all on the line here. I still can't believe all this is happening. Uh, I know. I'm so sorry. Well, at least you don't have to worry about me dating your brother anymore. Shelby. I mean, it bothered me and, yeah, like, grossed me out when the two of you were together, but... Uh -huh. we were together, but... So it was you, Kate. What are you talking about? It was you who made the copies. You wanted to break up Shelby and Jason. Admit it. You knew if Madison's diary got leaked, Shelby would find out the truth and it would cause their breakup. Is that true, Kate? No, I would never do such a thing. I was gonna say, yeah, it bothered me, but you made my brother so happy. I would never break the two of you up. I mean, I thought you were good for each other. As for you two, how dare you accuse me of something like this? You two have more motive. Madison threw grease on you in front of the whole school yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and Principal Jackson found Madison's diary in your locker, so we all know who did it. For your information, I was framed. 
I didn't make the copies. Well, neither did I. Plus, I don't even have credit on my ID. I use cash for everything. What does that have to do with anything? Everybody's talking about how the diary pages were made at the school copy machine. The one in the library? You need to use credit from your school ID to make copies. I know how we can find out who did this. We just got our lead. Let's go. Hi, ladies. How can I help you? Oh, there's that cute bag again. I love it. It's very pretty. <laughs> what do you mean again? I recognize your bag. Weren't you in here yesterday? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I really wasn't. We wanted to see if there's any way to see who used the photocopying machine. If this is about the diary incident from this morning, I already told Principal Jackson that the photocopy machine, it's been completely reset. There's no way to view any history. Shoot, there has to be another way. We're trying to solve this mystery. Is there no backup anyway? Uh, oh, the computer backs up the copier log. We can check there. Yeah, all right, right up. So, yeah, it looks like all the student IDs that were last entered are right here. Oh, I have another student to assist. I hope you ladies find what you need. A hundred copies? This has to be it. Student ID is 482926. Isn't that your ID? Uh, I don't know how that got there. If it is, you can tell me. I totally understand. I, I just don't know why you'd put the blame on me. Um, it wasn't me. Okay, I would never frame you. Okay, I'm sorry. But what about you? The librarian said she saw your back yesterday. Your back thinking it's me? I don't know, okay? Maybe we'll never solve this mystery. Willemma Robertson, please return to the principal's office. Your mother is here to pick you up. Why do they have to say my mom is here? Well, I'm sure you'll have a lot of time to think about it at home. Here, take the clue. Oh my gosh. I know who did it. Wait! Madison! What are you still doing here? Aren't you supposed to be suspended? You'd like that, wouldn't you? That way no one finds out the truth. What are you getting at? There you are, young lady. I've been looking everywhere for you. You are in big trouble, Emma. I can't believe you did this. It's like I don't even know who <laughs> you are. I didn't do it but I know who did. It was Madison. What? Why would Madison do this to herself? Exactly. Besides the fact that she'll love to get me back for her in the same bag as her. Madison has a crush on her best friend's boyfriend. That's ridiculous. He's the one who has a crush on me. No, I told you I don't like you, okay? What was Shelby? Okay, that's why I didn't respond to any of your DMs. You've been DMing Jason? No, no, I, okay. Even if I have, that doesn't mean I'd leak my own diary. Unless you have some other proof, Emma. I do. The librarian told me something that helped me figure this out. She said she saw my bag yesterday. But I didn't step foot in the library yesterday. And only one other person has my bag. <laughs> After it hit me, I compared the note that was left for Principal Jackson to one of the diary pages. Both eyes are exactly the same. Madison dots her eyes just like that. You can check every diary page to confirm. She's right. Madison does dot her eyes like that. Shelby! Madison? Is this all true? Tell us the truth. <laughs> Why would you use my student ID on the copy machine? Fine. 
I did it. It was me. I've had a crush on Jason ever since elementary school. And you knew about it, and you still decided to date him. That was a long time ago. I didn't realize you liked him. Well, yes, I did. And I've been waiting for you guys to break up for months. When I realized it wasn't gonna happen, I wanted to ruin your guys' relationship, but I didn't want to look like a bad friend. So, I had to get creative. You see, at lunch yesterday, I heard Olivia shout out her ID number. 482? 92? Six. Originally, I was gonna use it all on lunch just to drain her account, but then I started thinking of a better idea. I decided to make a fake diary and act like Jason had secretly been in love with me. Then I made copies of it using Olivia's ID to make it seem like it was her. Thankfully, Miss Bradshaw never noticed. To make things even more confusing, I saw Emma walk into the hallway, so I decided to leave the diary for her. I figured between Emma and Olivia, one of them would get blamed instead of me. So you see, that's what happened. If Shelby didn't steal Jason from me, then I wouldn't have had to stoop so low. Well, looks like I almost suspended the wrong girl. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Robinson. I did not mean to waste your time. No problem. I am just glad that my girl didn't do this. Deep down, I know she has a good heart. She could never. Does this mean I'm not gonna be grounded? Of course not. Wait, does this mean we can still do our murder mystery club this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> See, look, I would never do anything to hurt you. And I, I know I probably should have told you that Madison was DMing me, but I didn't want to ruin you guys' friendship. Look, I'm sorry. Can you, can you forgive me, please? Of course. Okay. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. Get it. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are back together. <laughs> it's so much better to have my brother date you instead of somebody else. <laughs> Awkward. No, guys, please. Come with me, young lady. We're gonna go call your mom, and after all this, you're probably gonna be transferring schools. Follow me. This way. I'm glad you didn't plan a revenge scheme after all. <laughs> I just did what you said. Don't waste your time on revenge. Those who deserve it always get theirs at the end. Oh, you two detectives are pretty impressive. Now, do you think you can use those skills to help me find my wallet? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Do you think I look okay? You look horrible. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kelly, this is not the time to play around. Kai's gonna be here in 20. Do I look good or not? Nina, you look amazing. Why are you worried? Kyle's crazy about you. You really think so? Obviously, why else would he ask you to be his girlfriend? You're right, I'm just, ugh. Nervous? Overthinking it? All of the above? Pretty much. You guys just started dating. It's going to be, what, a month next week? You're at the cupcake stage. You should be feeling butterflies right now. Don't overthink it and try to have fun, okay? I will. I'm gonna change. Oh, God. <sighs> Who's Alyssa143 on Instagram? I don't know, why? Just wondering. She commented on Kyle's last photo. What the heck? Who is she? I don't know, probably just a friend. It doesn't mean anything. It does when he responds. He said, thank you. It's just being polite. <sighs> yeah, right. I'm asking him about this right now. Nina, you're doing it again. Remember, this is the reason why your last relationship ended. Yeah, but I have a gut feeling that something is off about this. You always have a gut feeling and they're not always right. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna leave before he gets here. So try to have fun. Remember, don't let your jealousy take over. <laughs> she literally commented on six out of his last 10 photos. How have I never noticed this? You changed. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wait, 
How did you know I liked pink lemonade? I pay attention to detail. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was a reason I liked you. <laughs> Just one? No. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Um, no. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons why I like you. <laughs> like, did you do this drawing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's my grandma. I've been meaning to get it blown up and put in my room ever since she passed. Well, she and I were really close. Well, that's two more reasons why I like you. <laughs> One, you're an incredible artist. And two, you care a lot about your family. Is something wrong? You just seem a little off. No, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm just, I'm still kind of bothered by that Alyssa thing. Uh, uh okay. Well, uh, I told you, I, I, I've known her since I was a kid, so. She commented on 16 of the last 31 of your photos. Did you used to date or? N not at all. I think of her like she's just one of the guys. <laughs> I can introduce you to her if you want. Uh, are you attracted to her? I mean, no. it, she is pretty. No, no, not at all. Her and I were, were, were just friends, nothing else. Please, please try not to dig into those comments. But it's not just her. You also liked seven of her last photos. But yeah, yeah, cause, cause she's my friend. Are you tracking all of this? Uh, uh, uh. Nina, hey, I'm dating you. I like you. I really like you. Seriously, why do you even think I'd even like another girl? I don't know, I just, I'm just, I'm just worried that you're more into girls that look like her. I mean, she's pretty with perfect makeup and she dresses really nice. And like, if you were into her, I, I can see why. I, I don't think you understand. I'm not trying to invalidate your feelings, but I look at her like a sister. <laughs> That's what all guys say when they don't want their girlfriends. Okay, here. look, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything, right? Yeah. I don't like Alyssa. I promise. Can we watch this video, please? <laughs> okay. You will become part of my development team as of Monday. Really? <laughs> and if it doesn't work, you get your stuff and don't you think that you're overdoing it? Just a bit? This is what he wants, Callie. What he wants is you, but who knows for how long if you keep acting like this. Don't ruin a good thing. Kyle really likes you. For now, but what if he loses interest? That's why I have to prove I can be just as pretty as Alyssa. I give up. I'll see you at lunch. Nina. Wow, you look different. Do you like it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not complaining. The important thing is, do you like it? Yeah, me too. Hey, Kyle, are we still meeting in the computer lab? Oh yeah, I'll be there. Great, I'll see you soon. Oh my gosh, Nina? I almost did not recognize you. <laughs> but you look amazing. I'll see you later. Oh, someone has a type. What do you mean? Also, th that kind of wasn't really nice of you to just ignore Sam when she was complimenting you, don't you think? Since when have you and Sam been friends? Since middle school? Mm. <laughs> Nina, please, please don't do this, okay? I promise it's nothing to worry about. We're just working on a project. Well, what kind of project? Uh, just something that she's helping me with. It, it's nothing crazy. Okay. I guess I'll just see you later then. What do you mean? Are we not hanging out? Oh, that's okay. You can just hang out with Sam. 
Are you serious? Have fun. Nina. Wow. This is really coming together. Oh, perfect. Glad you like it. Um, let's sit right here. <laughs> uh, Nina, I thought you were having lunch with uh, Kelly. I was, but I decided to do a project with Levi instead. Oh, okay. Uh, you're gonna sit there? Yeah, why? Do you not want me to sit by you? No, of course I do. Wow, this is really coming together. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you like it. So, what did you want to work on? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. <laughs> no, really, like, what did you want to work on? <laughs> what did you want to work on? <laughs> By the way, you look so cute in that color. <laughs> Just... Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, gray, it's so plain. <laughs> Not on you, it isn't. That's it. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> wow. Uh, Th thank you so much for helping me with this. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Hey, anything for an old friend. Don't mention it. <laughs> I know. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. We look so cute together. We should totally hang out sometime. Aren't we hanging out right now? Uh, where are you going? We finished our work, so I'm gonna go. Thanks again. And you weren't even gonna say goodbye? N Nina, can we talk real quick? What's going on? What are you talking about? Are you, are you serious? You're not studying. I can see you, you're, you're taking selfies, you're complimenting Levi, you're asking him to hang out with you. That's, that's weird. Well, what's the matter? Are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm confused why you're flirting with other people. Now you know how it feels. What do you mean? I don't know how it feels, I'm not flirting with anybody. Is that what this is about? You're doing this on purpose. So what if I am? You've been doing the same thing to me all week. First liking all of Alyssa's photos and then hanging out with Sam at lunch? I mean, come on, you were clearly just hiding something. Okay, I'm, Nina, I'm not dumb. Nina, I'm getting sick of this. You keep accusing me of things that I'm not even doing. You are a liar and a cheater. All you do is talk to other girls in front of me like I don't even matter. You know what? It's fine. I know you don't want me, Kyle. I, I, I need some space to think about this. <laughs> Just like a typical man to run away when they get caught. You okay, Nina? No. <sighs> you still want to hang out again? You okay? I just don't understand why all guys have to be such pigs. That's unfair. You don't even know if Kyle did anything wrong. Yes, I do. I, I should have broken up with him the minute I saw Alyssa commenting all over his stuff. I mean, they clearly have something going on. I was just too naive to see it. That's a stretch. Today was supposed to be our one month anniversary. He hasn't called or texted. <sighs> is that her? It is. Where are you going? Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, do I know you? Wait, you're Kyle's girlfriend. Mina, right? He talks about you all the time. I'm surprised he's mentioned me, given that you two obviously have something going on. I mean, I've seen all of your comments and hearts all over his photos, so. Hold on. You think, Nina, it's, it's never been like that. We've known each other since we were kids. He's like my brother. I, I still don't hey, believe. Babe. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, uh, this is Nina, you know. Cal's girlfriend. Oh yeah, he talks about you all the time. It's nice to finally meet you. Uh, you are? Josh, Alyssa's boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Yeah, for like six years now. Kyle and Josh are best friends. Uh, wow, I feel so bad for, um, it's nice meeting you. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. I feel like I just made a total fool out of myself. No, no, not at all. I totally understand. It can be hard when a guy has a girl for a friend. But I promise you, there's nothing to worry about. And Kyle's like the most trustworthy guy I know. Thanks. I, I appreciate it, really. <laughs> it was nice meeting you guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you see around. You. All right, see you. You see, I told you that there was nothing to worry about. You were right. I... Yeah, but this little platypus in Perry keeps getting in my way. I don't believe this. I might have been wrong about Alyssa, but I wasn't wrong about Sam. Not again. <sighs> Nina. And here I was thinking I was crazy, but I'm not. You wanted her all along, didn't you? Um... I'm gonna give you guys a second. <laughs> You're doing this again? Don't make me out to be the bad guy. You guys are exchanging gifts now? How long have you two been a thing? This is for you. Don't even try to pretend like this is for me. I Just open it. Kyle, this is beautiful. Happy one month anniversary. <laughs> Thank you, but how did you... I took a photo of your portrait and I sent it to Sam. She did the rest. I'm, I'm not really good with this stuff, but she is, and that's what we were working on. That's why I had to slide the computer away from you. I, I just didn't want to ruin the surprise. Kyle, I'm so sorry for accusing you of all those things. It's okay. I just, I let my insecurities get the best of me. It's, it's fine. I, and about Alyssa... No, you don't have to explain. Let's just say you were right. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Thanks for showing me that. And I promise I'll be better. If you still want to be with me, that is. Of course I do. Nina, like I said, th there are so many things that I like about you. I mean, I could probably do without like one or two things. Or... <laughs> this is the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me. I, I can't believe you remembered. I pay attention to detail. You want to have coffee with Callie and I? Yeah. Are you sure we should be seen together, though? I don't want to make Levi mad. Oh my gosh. I need to apologize to him. And to Sam. And to Alyssa. And to Callie. There's a lot of people I need to apologize to.